right now, I mean, in the past couple of days, there's this big news that has emerged that apparently an Indian missile uh, entered Pakistani territory, Pakistani airspace, flew more than 100 kilometers and then crashed somewhere. So that's the news that we are... Uh, that we have uh, received. And I think yesterday the Indian government acknowledged that there was a malfunction or, or a misfire, accidental firing of a missile. And then this missile was, uh, it was neutralized in midair and it was not carrying any explosive warhead. And India uh, said it is a good thing that there was no loss of life in Pakistan. So that's the news that has emerged. And what is the reality behind this, right? That's the question. So it looks like this was a Brahmos missile. So let me share my screen with you and uh, show you the path that this missile took. One second, where is that? Mm. Yes, let's take a look at this. So this is what the Pakistanis shared in their press conference. Uh, as you can see, they, they have shown the path of the Indian missile. It took off from Sirsa in northern northwest India. It went in a certain direction, then took a 90 degree turn, went into Pakistan, and then uh, crashed down, impacted a place called Mia Chunnu or something like that, inside, deep inside Pakistan, 124 kilometers inside Pakistan. Now, if you if you calculate the length that the missile, the, the distance that the missile flew, it's nearly 300 kilometers. Now, if if you all know about the Brahmos missile you will know that there are there have been two types, two categories of Brahmos missiles. So the Brahmos is an Indo-Russian joint venture. It's a missile that's been developed jointly by India and Russia. Now, before India acceded to the missile technology control regime, the MTCR, India was not allowed to receive technology, missile technology from another country, uh, which would in, in which the missile would have a range of more than 300 kilometers. Now, Russia is also a, a signatory to the of the MTCR. So before India joined the MTCR a few years ago, four or five years ago, India was not allowed to get uh, to acquire missiles whose range was more than 300 kilometers. So the Brahmos had a range initially of about 290 kilometers. That's the official range that uh, it was specified. Now, if you understand how missiles work, you will know that just by changing the fuel, you can have an extended range. But let's not go into that, that thing right now. So the Brahmos, the original Brahmos, had a range of 290 kilometers, officially. And after India acceded to the MTCR, uh, there is a newer version of the Brahmos that has been, that is, that has been developed, maybe several versions of the Brahmos. Uh, it is believed that one version has a range of around 700 kilometers. Maybe some other versions would have a longer range, etc. So the uh, the path of the missile that the Pakistanis shared, it kind of shows that the missile flew about 290 or 300 kilometers, which would indicate that this could be a Brahmos missile, right? And they also said that the missile was flying at Mark 3. So what is Mark 3? Mark 1 is one times the speed of sound. Mark 2 is twice the speed of sound. Mark 3 is thrice the speed of sound. So this Indian missile was flying at nearly three times the speed of sound, which again points towards Brahmos because Brahmos is a supersonic missile which has a speed of about 2.8 uh, Mark, Mark 2.8, almost Mark 3. So all the indications seem to uh, point towards this being a Brahmos missile that was fired into Pakistan. And the way it, it uh, changes the, its direction suddenly is also characteristic of the Brahmos missile. Now, it is said that it has been claimed that this was an unarmed missile. It did not carry an explosive warhead. Now, if you look at the uh, images and the video that has come out from Pakistan, you will see a large area of destruction. Several buildings have been flattened. There's been a huge hole that's been dug into the ground. And then there is some imagery of the, the, of the debris of the missile itself. And that's where you get a clue that this may be the, be the Brahmos. Now, so here's the thing. If the missile did not have a warhead, if there was no explosive charge in the missile, then it would have simply punched a hole into whatever building it went into or punched a hole into the ground. It would not have caused a big area of devastation. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words and a video is worth a thousand pictures. So let me show you a video of what a Brahmos does to a ship when it does not have a warhead. It just punches through the ship. So let's take a look at this.
So that is an example of what the Brahmos missile does when it doesn't have a warhead. It just slashes through a ship, cuts it into two. The kinetic energy of the impact is enough to destroy the ship once and for all. It is unsalvageable. It is just destroyed. Let me show you one more time how, how deadly the impact is. So that's what an unarmed Brahmos does. It cuts a ship into two or cuts the target into two just on the basis of the enormous kinetic energy that it carries. There is no explosion. It's a clean cut into two pieces. Now what you see in Pakistan is not characteristic of that. There is a big area that has been completely flattened. So that does not point to an unarmed Brahmos. It seems to be a Brahmos that did carry some kind of explosive uh, warhead. So what exactly has happened is the question. Now the Indian uh, side has not revealed any significant details. It has expressed regret for what happened and said that it's good that there was no loss of life. The Pakistanis are saying that this was an Indian missile that traveled this much uh, distance and it was again unarmed. That's what they are saying. But the evidence seems to point towards something different. So the first question is, was this really a Brahmos? I mean, India has, a multiple, uh, India has a multiplicity of missiles in its stable, many kinds of missiles. We have been developing all kinds of missiles. In the past year, there have been like, I don't know, at least a dozen missile tests of various kinds of missiles. There are cruise missiles. There, are, there is a subsonic cruise missile. We have the supersonic BrahMos and there are other missiles as well. So is this a missile that we are not aware of? That's also a possibility. Or is it just the Brahmos? So what exactly happened? So let's examine the scenarios of what could have happened. The first scenario is we should just take what has been said at face value. That uh, I think, I'm not sure which journalist reported this. There was supposedly an inspection of the missiles going on. And during the inspection, there was an accidental launch of the missile. So this seems to be the official version from India that there was an accidental launch of the missile, which was not supposed to happen. And then it was uh, deactivated before it reached whatever target it was supposed to reach and did any uh, damage that was not supposed to be done. So this is the official version. So if this version is correct, it would indicate that, the, that there was a goof up in the uh, in the Indian military and they launched a missile that they should not have launched. If that is the case, if that is what we should believe, then th that, is, that indicates that there is a problem and th which needs to be addressed. Another scenario is that this was a deliberate launch of a missile and it was not intended to destroy any, any target, but just to test, test the kind of response you would get from Pakistan. So that is another scenario. And if you look at the response that we got from Pakistan, there was no response. They just watched it. The, the missile flew so fast, it could not be uh, intercepted. If you, if, you, if you have a missile that flies at almost three times the speed of sound, it's almost impossible to stop it or to intercept, intercept it. It's flying faster than a bullet. And there are only maybe two or three countries in the world, or maybe five countries that have the technology to possibly intercept a missile like the Brahmos. The Pakistanis don't have it. India has the technology, the Barak 8 missile which is a missile interceptor. So the response from the Pakistanis was no response. They just watched the missile fly and then the missile impacted the ground on its own without Pakistani inter intervention. So that is a second scenario. And the third scenario we can think of is that once again, this was a deliberate launch of the missile and it actually took out a target which was supposed to be taken out. So maybe there was something in that place, Mia Channu, that, that village in Pakistan that had some value there was a high value target and that one that India wanted to be taken out. So that is a third possibility. So possibility A is that it was a completely accidental firing of the missile, which is not good. Possibility two is that it was a deliberate firing of the missile to test the Pakistani response. Possibility three is that this was a deliberate firing to take out a high value target. These are the three possibilities I can think of. If you guys have any possibilities, any other possibilities in mind, uh, let me know in the comments below. So that's what that's that's what I can say about what's happened thus far based on the information that we have, right? So maybe in, in the coming years, maybe five, ten years down the line, we may know actually what really happened and what, what was done. As of today, 
we or uh, the indian side is not going to reveal what really happened i i i am very doubtful about the claim that this was an accidental misfire of the missile this is a nuclear capable missile and the missile uh, and the country that it was fired into was pakistan which is another n- n- nuclear power uh, power state you don't accidentally fire nuclear capable missiles into the territory of a nuclear power you just don't do it so i i am highly doubtful about that theory so i think possi- the scenario 2 and scenario 3 is more likely but as of today there's not much chance of us knowing what really happened so that's what i can say about the uh, about this saga of the brahmos missile what seems to be the brahmos missile that went into pakistan